Steph, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming pages 6, 7 and 8 of my bucket list series. Um, the reason why I'm doing all three is because these two both relate to travel and they sort of go hand in hand. And then this one is just a, a few extras that um, I have added over time. So I'm just going to jump straight in because I feel like this will be a bit longer. My first section is Travel Australia. I want to see Uluru, climb the Sydney Harbour Bridge, attend an event at the Sydney Opera House, live in Coober Pedy, spend a New Year's Eve on Sydney Harbour, go to every icon on the big list and spend a week in each capital city. I'm not going to go through and explain these too much to you guys um, because it's things I want to do. But if you would like any more information about it, leave me a comment and I will comment back to you anything about them but the australia stuff is pretty minimal partly because a it's only one country and b i live here so you know um off this list however i have climbed the sydney harbour bridge you can see it crossed off just there um yeah so yeah um uluru is obviously airs rocks in the middle of australia i really want to go there sydney harbour bridge i just said i've climbed attend an event sydney opera house want to do that because it's you know it's like our version of um, Carnegie Hall or something like that. Uh, live in Cooper PD. I want to live in an underground house just for six months or so. Or like just rent one or whatever. Spend a New Year's Eve on Sydney Harbour because everybody wants to do that. And it's the biggest event of the year. Go to every icon on the big list. If you don't know what the big list is, I will leave a link below. Um, and spend a week in each capital city because why not? Next section, travel the United States of America. I want to visit all 50 states. I want to be able to say that I've been to all 50 states and there are actually things in each state that I do want to do. Not all of them are bucket list worthy, but, you know, got a, got a fair chunk. Um, so, drive down Route 66 in a top-down convertible. Very cliche, very Hollywood, but I really want to do it. Go to San Diego Zoo and go to Central Park Zoo. Both of these are zoos that I um, hear about a lot. And I just sort of want to experience them for myself. See the Grand Canyon, go to Death Valley. They're sort of same types of areas. Grand Canyons, Nevada, Death Valley's in California. I just think that would be really cool. And Death Valley is apparently the hottest place on earth. I highly doubt it because Australia is sweltering. But, you know, never know. Go to New York Fashion Week. Who doesn't want to do that? Like, even, even straight men should want to go to Fashion Week. Like, that's huge. See the Statue of Liberty. So iconic, why not? Go to Universal Studios, go to Disneyland, go to Disney World. Again, cliche, but you know. I also, if you haven't noticed in the previous videos in this series, I do love Disney. Spend a New Year's Eve in Times Square. Okay, like as if you wouldn't, that's an international event. Um, Go to the White House Easter Egg Roll. I know that's for kids, but I just think that sounds like so much fun. Like, oh. Brilliant. I wish we did stuff like that in Australia. Take a riverboat down the Mississippi River. I feel like this is one of so one of the many so southern things that you can do um, and so stereotyped. But I also just think that would just be amazing to do. Sit on the four corners. I want to sit on the four corners because, and I'm pretty sure the four corners are Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico, and I want to say Utah, but I don't think that's right. Something like that. But I want to sit on the four corners so I can say that I've been in four places at once. Uh, I also want to see it because I think that it's the only place in the world where four places all meet in one corner. I think that's cool. Um, take a limo down the Las Vegas Strip. Again, very cliche, very Hollywood, but awesome. Go to Mount Rushmore. Um, it's not... I'm not very into American history or anything like that. However, I do like the National Treasure movies. I know they're fake, but whatever. Um, but I do think, like, Mount Rushmore is very iconic to America, and it's very, um... Oh, it's very... It's not really architecture, although I guess it is kind of architecture. But it's, it's like a wonder, either way. Like, you know, people's faces carved into a rock. That's brilliant. Go to Carlo's Bakery, um, Cake Boss, brilliant. I've actually, I've seen uh, Buddy Velastro in live. He's touched my hand. He was brilliant. 
visit the National, National Museum of Natural History. Um, I just think this would be really cool. As I've said in previous videos, I'm not a nature person, I'm not an adventure person, I'm not an outdoorsy person or anything like that. But I do feel like natural history and stuff, that is kind of interesting to sort of be able to see and experience in some way. See the Hollywood sign. Again, very cliche, but why not? Visit the Full House home in San Francisco. The reason I want to do this one is because it's actually um, one of my favourite TV shows of all time. Um... One of the names that I've picked for my future child is related to a name like that. My name's Stephanie. They had a Stephanie. You know, Olsen twins were my idols growing up. So, yeah, I, I want to I want to see the house where that was filmed because it's it's brilliant. Visit Niagara Falls, yet again, cliche, but why wouldn't you? Uh, visit the 9/11 Memorial. I was on a school camp when 9/11 happened. I was in year four, I was at the Great Aussie Bush Camp, and I remember the news coming through um, in the morning when we were all having breakfast, and we immediately, the whole place, went dead silent, you know, filled with school kids, and we all it was, it was, it was very hard to sort of experience on a school camp and not have anyone there that I could sort of go to and speak to about it. I had to wait till I come home came home to speak to my parents about it just because there were so many of us and so many people didn't understand what was happening and um you know yeah so it I, I want to go and see the memorial and I want to sort of pay my respects in person as well visit the mall of America um it's got like a skate park inside the building what or like a half pipe, I think it might be. Like Tony Hawk skate, skate has skateboarded on it. It's like the biggest mall in the world, apparently. Or something like that. Maybe it's just the biggest mall in America. I don't remember. But I want to go to the Mall of America. Put gum on the gum wall in Seattle. Gross, but so cool. Right on the Before I Die wall in New Orleans. Of course I want to do that. Have you seen the length of my bucket list? Stay in Cinderella's Castle. You have to pay a fortune to stay in Cinderella's Castle in Disney World, but God be damned if I'm not going to do it. Um, I've skated in Central Park. How pretty! And spent a Christmas in New York. Uh, I want to spend Christmas in New York and I want to do the New York in Times Square, which is also in New York, so that kind of works out well. So that's my American list. Moving on to travel the world. This is a basically a full page, but I'm just going to break it down super quick for you guys. Go on a world cruise. Why wouldn't you? How nice of a way to see the world is that? Spend, you know, 100 days on a boat, three months on a boat, and um, you go to like, I don't know, 30 countries. It's brilliant. Maybe 40 countries, whatever. Ride the five largest Ferris wheels in the world. I love Ferris wheels. They are my favourite um, attraction when I go to like theme parks and, and stuff like that. So I really want to do that. So I've got the Changsha in China, the London Eye in, New in the UK, the Star of Nishang in China, Singapore Flyer in Singapore, and the Great Beijing Wheel in China. Um, I, think the Ch I think it's the Changsha. One of them takes like three hours to get around it's probably not three hours it's probably like an hour but you know i think the london eye correct me if i'm wrong someone but i think the london eye is 45 minutes um the showing is the biggest one and it's it takes even longer or maybe the great beijing wheel is the biggest one i can't remember what order i wrote these in but anyway go on a safari i just think that's so awesome and i want to be able to say that i've seen the um, like the big five, the, the, um, African big five, which is lions, buffalo, zebras, giraffes, and the rhino? Maybe a hippo's in there. I don't remember, but anyway. Um, see the Northern Lights, or Aurora Borealis, I really want to do that. Go to the Galapagos Islands, go to the Sahara Desert. Go to the harbour of Rio de Janeiro. They're just they're just places that I want to go. A lot of these. Um, go to see the Easter Island statues again. Just stuff I want to I want to see. 
see the Great Pyramid, see the Stonehenge, go to Carnegie Hall, go to the Colosseum, walk the Great Wall of China, go to the Taj Mahal, see the Terracotta Warriors, pee in every ocean. I know that sounds so stupid, but why would you not want to do that? Like, oh, go to the fairy pools. And actually, I know someone's peed in every ocean. Oh, you can't even see. I'll just move you down. Where are we? Pee in every ocean. Ha! <laughs> I also want to swim in every ocean, but they kind of go hand in hand. So go to the fairy pools. Um, go to the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Climb to the top of the Eiffel Tower. Backpack across Europe. Go to every country in the world. I know that's ambitious and I know there's a lot of countries that you have to have certain visas like um, some of them you have to be a journalist to get into and some of them you've got to be from certain countries and not others but you know as close as I can get to that I will be happy. Live overseas. I want to live in Greece. I want to live in Greece. Not right now because their financial situation is awful but I want to live in Greece. If not then Italy. Um, see a sumo wrestling match in Japan. How awesome would that be? Ride a gondola. Go island hopping in the Caribbean. Go to Onwick Castle. Onwick Castle is where Harry Potter was filmed. So, obviously. Sail down the Nile. Sail down the Congo. And sail down the Amazon rivers. Visit the Trevi Fountain. Volunteer in Africa. Visit Anne Frank's house. Side note, but I'm actually super obsessed with Anne Frank. Um, I think she's brilliant. Visit the Tunnel of Love. I think that's in the Ukraine, actually. Uh, float in the Dead Sea, visit the Titanic in a submarine. In a previous one, I think it was maybe my second one, I did say that I wanted to dive in a submarine. Um, so the Titanic would be really cool if I was ever able to afford that. Put a lock on the Love Locks Bridge. I know this was taken down, but there are more locks going up around it, so I still want to do that. And write a letter on Juliet's wall. That's in Verona in Italy, I believe. And just to finish up, this is my others category and this is where I just put things that as I think of them I just add them to the list so travel the world is the first three so I write the category and the task and then I can cross it off if I've completed it so travel the world I want to see the Sistine Chapel go to Buckingham Palace and go to the Kremlin to see the grave of Vladimir um, Lenin that's in Russia Events, I want to go to the Sydney Gay and Lesbian Mardi Gras. If you've seen my video that had the events in it, I, I want to say it was the third one, Carnival's and Major Events. Um, I have Mardi Gras on that list, but it's specifically for New Orleans. However, I had crossed it off on the side. I'd put a line and crossed it off, but I also have it on this and I've crossed it off here as well. Um, people, I want to meet Shangela and Lola LaCroix. They're my two favourite drag queens in the world. Both of them I have met. And random is learn SFX makeup, which I'm actually doing at the end of this year, or in September rather. So I'm really excited for that. I've got a couple more things that I want to add to it, but I haven't at this point. Eventually I will do an updated version for you guys as well, maybe just of this page. But yeah. That's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, give me a thumbs up. Comment below anything that you have on your bucket list related to these categories. Also go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. If you have any video requests relating to anything that I've talked about in this particular series or any other um, ideas, anything bucket list related would be pretty cool. But if it's something else, then that's cool too. Just drop them all in the comments below as well. Um, subscribe as I said also all my social media is linked down below so follow me on all of those Facebook Twitter Instagram it's all I really use tumblr Pinterest whatever it's all down below and I will catch you guys in my next one bye